Hello, hello, my storytime friends. I'm Gail, the Storytime Girl at the Royal Saskatchewan Museum. And today I'm reading a story to you from my living room. Now, I like to read really silly stories, and especially right now, um, you know, it's a really hard time for everyone. And so um, my book for today, it's about why animals really shouldn't wear clothing. And there's a good reason, boys and girls, that you don't see a moose wearing pants. Anyway, uh, this is called Animals Should Definitely Not Wear Clothing by Judy Barrett and pictures by Ron Barrett. That's a porcupine on the front trying to wear a sweater. Doesn't look very good, does it? Anyway, let's get started. Animals should definitely not wear clothing. It would be disastrous for the porcupine. Because a camel might wear it in the wrong place. Because a snake would lose it. Because a little, little mouse could get lost in it. Because a sheep <laughs> might find it terribly whew, hot. because it could be very messy for a pig. Uh-oh. Because it might make life hard for a hen. Because a kangaroo would find it quite unnecessary. <laughs> because a giraffe might look sort of silly. <laughs> oh boy. Because a billy goat would eat it for lunch. Because it would always be wet on a warbles. Because a moose could never manage. So I was saying about the pants, boys and girls. <laughs> because opossums might wear it upside down by mistake. But most of all, it, it, because it might be very embarrassing. The end. So now I know why when I try to dress my cat, he doesn't like it. So there you see, boys and girls, animals. They have all their own fur and feathers and they have things to protect them in nature. So people, we need clothes, you know, to survive, uh, to go out outside, especially if it's winter. We need clothes, but animals, 
they're okay just the way they are. Well, boys and girls, thank you for joining me. And remember, there's always magic in the world. And it all starts in your imagination. Until next time, bye.